opening Pokemon's newest product releases, starting with the brand new collection boxes and moving all the way through to an entire display of mini tins. I'm pretty excited to see what's going to be inside these collection boxes and tins, but if you'd like a chance to win a collection box for yourself, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button, number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. All right, so I say we start off with the brand new Alakazam EX collection boxes. This is Scarlet and Violet 151, so you're going to see the 151 packs in here. But you're also going to see these really cool promo cards for the entire evolution line of Alakazam. And, I mean, it's a perfect timing because they just started being able to make these Kadabra cards again. But, yeah, we get a full feature of Alakazam here in the collection box. It looks sick. So, as you can see, the front and the back there. Really nice artwork of Alakazam and then all the other Gen 1 Pokemon. This all the stuff that's included. Attack from the Bench with Alakazam EX. Super cool Pokemon from back in the day. I remember Sabrina and all that stuff being... And, and, and the original anime. Like, that was, like, one of the most memorable episodes. Those two episodes when Ash goes with Gengar and Haunter and all that. Super nostalgic. So, it's cool to see this. What can I say? I love Generation 1 Pokemon. All right, so let's get this open. The other thing about these is they have smaller boxes for the collection boxes. They kind of condensed everything. Um, it makes it easier to open on camera, that <laughs> being a smaller product, but we have the packs here. They feel a little different. The plastic, it depends on which factory some of this stuff comes out of, but it feels, honestly, like different packaging on those packs. And then we're going to, man, we're going to check out these cards. Like, I love the borders, that how they do them with the silver around it. But here's a code card for the collection box. And then I want to start with Abra here. I think it's Abra, yeah. All right, dude. Nice, man. So it's basically taking, like, these basic Pokemon and making them hollow and, and really cool silver borders. I mean, dude, you can make any Pokemon card that much better if they just make them hollow. And this thing is no exception because it looks amazing. Then we're going to move on to the infamous Kadabra. Oh, my God. That looks so good. Dude, yeah, this is nice. I, I can't believe how nice the promo cards look nowadays. Like, they are just so clean with that silver border. Dude, it looks so much cooler with the hollow pattern. And then... Last but certainly not least, you get an, an actual EX card for Alakazam here. And, I mean, it's a cool-looking card, but I honestly really do like those basic just hollow cards of, of Kadabra and uh, Abra. And then here's the full lineup. Abra, Kadabra, Alakazam. Solid lineup. Now all we have left for this product is to open up our four 151 packs and see how we do. Yeah, these even open differently. It's so weird handling packs, like, every single day. I could tell differences on stuff like, ah, oh, yeah, this one feels a little different from a different factory. Like, really... It's weird. But anyway, we got Mankey, Oddish, Ammonite, Tauros, Kadabra, and this is perfect because now I can actually show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. How to make a card 10 times cooler. Make the silver uh, borders and then make it hollow. And there you go. All right. We got Kadabra, Horsey. We got Cubone Reverse, and then there's going to be a Vileplume hollow back there. And see, like, this doesn't have that same pattern as I'm talking about with these actual promo cards. I'm going to take it out of there so you guys can see the difference. I want you to see this because it is pretty cool. Once you get that galaxy type pattern with all the stars and little orbs and everything, it's just, I mean, it looks, it makes it look so much cooler. Like, it is, like this is cool, but it just has like a flat hollow finish. This one is just like, boom. I don't know if that made any sense. All right, moving on to our second booster pack here, 151. And um, I don't know... <laughs> I didn't look, so I have no idea what is going to be in the, the mini tins. Um, sometimes they do the special sets, but then also sometimes it's just like random sets. So I don't know if it's going to be a bunch of Scarlet Evolved, like it's Scarlet and Violet base and Paldea Evolved and stuff like that. Beautiful Vaporeon in there, and then you got that Fighting Energy Hollow. But yeah, it's always a surprise when you're opening up like mini tins and Pokeballs and stuff, especially Pokeballs. Uh, like the Pokeballs are by far definitely the biggest surprise. I mean... If you look it up, you could probably see what's in the actual mini tins. But Pokeballs, like, dude, they're always so random. Eevee, Ghastly, and Machamp. That actually looks good, too. Water energy, too. And our final pack of 151. Well, at least for this product. Let's see what we get. We got a Ghastly there. We got Nidoran. Bolt Sorb, Seeking, Butterfree. We got a Lapras, Persian, Gyarados, and a Nidoki. Again, make sure you're into the giveaway for the Alkazam collection box. I will be giving one of those away to a subscriber. And every video I try to do giveaways for the most part. And then this right here is going to be fun. Man, I love the artwork on this thing. It's so unique and creative. And it looks really cool, man. There's so many Gen 1 Pokemon. Uh, go, like, There's like this cool design of all these different shapes. You even have Ekans like, wrapping around one of them. Uh, they're kind of like floating around there. You got all the like, Electabuzz, Scyther, Magnemite's even there. Magneton even made the cut. Gengar, of course, dude. We got Machamp there. Oh, dude, Machamp is picking up one of these like a friggin' just doing like a shoulder press or something right now. Uh, but yeah, let's let's take this off. These look 
ridiculously cool when you actually open the display up. I'll show you what it looks like. But here we go. We got Meowth down there too. Tell me in what world this does not look so cool. Like, that looks really good. And uh, yeah, we're going to just start off here and see what we got. So we have different characters or different... Why do I say characters? Different Pokemon <laughs> on the tins. Um, so we... Oh, this is loose, dude. What the heck, bro? I was going to say, the outside wrap just whoop, slipped off. These just, This one just slipped off too. Oh my god, these come right off. Well, makes it easier to open them up, but that's definitely like a manufacturing issue there. But anyway, Machamp and Cubone on this one. Um, in this Pokemon TC Scarlet Violet 151 Mini Tin, you'll find two booster packs. One cool coin. They put cool coin. A Pokemon art showing. Oh yeah, you get the artworks too, so we can put those together. But anyway, let's see what's in this first tin here. Uh, Alright, the suspense right now. This is the moment. Are we going to get Scarlet Violet Base? <laughs> Are we going to get 151? Oh, it's 151. I can definitely see a 151 pack down there. We got... Oh! Did they do that? Okay. This is a fighting energy. Do you think they did all the energies in these? Because this is just random because the Machamp has the fighting... All right, let's see. With the Cuba... You might... Dude, that might... That might actually be a cool coin. I can, might be able to confirm that's a cool coin if you have all the energies. All right, so there's the artwork. You can usually lay these out and actually put them together. And then there's two... Okay. They feel different. Different factory. Just saying. All right, so let's crack these two packs here. And then we will move into the next tin. Uh, we're going to see all the artworks. We're going to see all the coins. We got nothing so far today, man. Pulls have not been too great. We only opened five packs, though. So, see, this, this pack artwork, this, yeah, it just feels different. It's like a thinner plastic. We have nothing again. Oh, here we go. My boy's up next. We got Gengar and Poliwag. Nice team there. Okay. Now, the question is going to be, oh, this one doesn't slip off. Are we going to get a different coin inside of this mate tin? Let's see what happens. All right. Let's see. Moment of truth. Don't disappoint me, Pokemon. I want all the energies as coins. Yes! Dude, that's so cool. Okay, we got another one. All right, we got Gengar. Let's see what we got here. Hiding people's shadows at night. It absorbs their heat. The chill it causes makes the victim sick. Creepy. Oh, and it shows you where the artworks go. Whoa, wait. This is actually crazy. Just realizing this right now. Normally with the mini tins, they have five different designs on one side, and then they're the same on the other side. This has... 10 different mini tin designs. Every single one is completely different. That's crazy. We'll have to put this together maybe at like the end of the video because I cannot lay all these out here on the table. There's going to be like 10 of them. Uh, okay. That is interesting. Never seen that before with mini tins. So if you want all the mini tins, you're going to have to collect 10 different versions of these ones instead of like the five that are usually different. Uh, Golem EX. Oh, fire energy. All right. Next booster pack. Let's see if we can... Finally get something decent in one of these packs. That was actually well, that was actually the first pull that we got today. <laughs> Some days, dude, it's like it just doesn't happen. And then people watch the videos and they're like, oh. And they, if I put like a shorts up or something, like a clip, they'll be like, oh, Pokey Revolve, just all, all he does is gets pulls. I'm like, no, dude. You don't watch the normal videos where I literally get nothing. <laughs> like every other video, it seems. Oh, my God. These are actually cool. All right. That was the correct word to use. Cool coins. So we got Magneton and Ekans. Nice tag team right there. Tag Team Gen 1 Pokemon? Sounds good to me. Even though it's the most random, like, tag teams of all time. Mr. Mime, get out of here. All right. So we got three of the mini tins. This is interesting. I like I like that they're changing things up a little bit here. But I still can't hit. Oh, look at this. Next one up is going to be Dragonite and Vileplume. Another, like, random tag team. This one slips off. All right, perfect. Make it easier for me. Let's see. Dude, what is happening? This is cool. all right. Dragonite artwork on this one, man. 463 pounds, seven foot three. Oh, dang. Dragonite does not skip the gym. That's crazy. <laughs> Dragon Air. Daisy's help. Daisy's help. Yes. Oh my God, it's a triple. It's a triple, baby. Dude, yo. We got one of the three cards that we're missing from the set. This is going in the binder. This is exciting. Oh, my God. I've never been this excited for a regular Full Art Trainer card. Dude, this is one of the three cards we need. This, Full Art Venusaur, and the Pikachu Illustrator. We need two more cards now. Full Art Venusaur and a uh, Pikachu Illustration. I love that. I love when that happens. Not even in particular, just not even really looking for, to complete the binder at this very second. And then we get it. And we got the Mew EX. Man, we are back, baby. The Dragonite tin is where it's at. Best tin of the video so far. All right, we have Meowth here and Hitmonchan. All right. 
very interesting combination here. Oh my gosh, this is crazy now. Like, you got all these really... Every single one's different. This is, uh, this is something that Pokemon's never done. This makes these more collectible, honestly. It is cool to get a different coin in every tin. It is cool to have ten different versions of these mini tins at five. I like what I see. And a Blastoise EX. By the way, guys, I just started doing some behind the scenes videos, like more like short form content. Um, I posted on my Instagram and on TikTok. If you want to follow me over there, I just did one um, going through some like booster boxes. I want to show more of my collection. I want to do more just like behind the scenes stuff that you guys don't typically see in my videos. Um, whether that's like the day to day stuff, like uh, even like Pogero Pack production, uh, checking out like shipping, like just stuff in general that you guys don't see i want to start doing more i don't know if i'm necessarily going to put it on this channel or not or just on instagram or tiktok or something but um i want to start doing more long form of those behind the scenes videos as well so you, i might start doing them on this channel too just i don't know go through my day like show you guys some cool stuff like go through some of my collection go find pokemon cards somewhere just i don't know maybe meet up with people trade like Go to a card shop. I just, just like more stuff like involved more with the hobby that you guys don't see. I'd like to show off sometimes. So we will see what happens. Oh, man, that's a really nice looking one. These are so cool. These coins. I've never seen this many different coins. We got Scyther and Weezing. And then we got our two 151 packs. I really think these might be some of the coolest mini tins we've ever seen. The artworks are amazing. Oh, speaking of amazing artworks, Erica's Invitation. Whew, we just got that special illustration rare. I think this might be one of the most valuable cards in the set. I'm just going to assume it is, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, here we go. Getting through these mini tins. Still seeing all these different coins and artworks. We got Jolteon. All right, let's go. We got Arcanine. And we got Ammonite. All right, let's see what we, let's see what we can do here. Ooh, here we go. We got the fire now. Wow. that's I, I'm seriously shocked, actually. Really, I am. They don't typically do this ever. Making every single one of these mini tins unique. Very cool to see. Very cool to see. We got Gyarados. We got that Lighting Energy Hollow. All right, we got three more tins after this one. Let's see what else we can do here. Helix Fossil. Um, we're seeing Erica's Invitation. Now we have Slowpoke and Sandshrew. Okay. That right, slips right off. All right. Ooh. Wow, okay, water. All right, all right, all right. There's the Slowpoke artwork. Very cool. I'm going to have to figure out how to lay all these out. I will do it on the last 10. I'll probably do the top-down view camera, and we can just check it out really quickly, seeing all them laid out. Um, see what it looks like. All right, Amistar. I right, got one more pack in this 10. Let's see what we can do here. Geo, dude, star you. We got Bulbasaur, Chansey, Psychic Energy. If you guys missed it, also, I just um, uploaded the other day a video of the brand-new uh, Ultra Premium Collection box. Of 151 honestly could be like the product of the year in my opinion i think it just hits everything perfectly collectability exclusive stuff lots of stuff like good things inside of there it's a, it's a great it's a, it's a good product um we got electabuzz 66 pounds that's it three foot seven okay i'm surprised i thought electabuzz was taller than that that seems kind of off even from watching the anime and stuff but all right we got polywag we got muck we got Nido King. Here we go. Electabuzz, Coughing Tangela, Muck Pidgey. We got Golem EX. Nice. All right, and our final mini tin, Hitmon Lee and Kadabra. And then we're going to lay all the artworks out to end this thing. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, ooh, perfect. I wouldn't expect anything different in that one. We got Kadabra. Uh, four foot three, one hundred twenty-seven point six pounds. Why is the weight so accurate? <laughs> Down to like the point something. Also, the mini tins are cool to hang on to and just put stuff in and collect. So you don't, yeah, you get a little something extra with this War Turtle Mew. Nice. I can't believe I still have not pulled two cards from this set. The Venusaur Full Art and the Pikachu Illustration Rare. We got our final pack here. Remember, I'm going to show those artworks in a second, so stay tuned for that. All right, and this final Arcade 9 goes right there. So this is the whole thing laid out. Looks really cool. Okay, just hit it. Perfect. Didn't just take me five minutes to put this out. Uh, but there it is. The entire um, artwork here laid out. Looks pretty sick. All right, guys, let me know what you think of all that down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want much more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you. 
on the next one.